What's happening guys, my name is OTG and I'd like to welcome you to episode number 9 of our Coltis United Manager Mode series and we're kicking things off with this episode um, with looking at the youth player we got in, Christian Alonso he's, re he's expected to be 81 to 94 and his overall is 57 to 71 when he hits at age of 16 he'll be coming into our squad and he'll be an absolute impact player some of them stats, he's going to be a really good attacking midfielder and you know he's going to fit in with our team quite well with, and with the pace but he's not exactly the fastest, he's very, he looks very solid on the ball and you know I have to also um, sort things out with the England squad and I actually decided to put John Taylor in the squad, it's a bit of a weird one I've got like Wilfred Zaha in there, I've, we've got a few muck around games coming up, we've got Romania and um, also Belgium but we kick things off in our first match against Romania and you know I put out a pretty weak team by England standards it's, it's still a good team but it's pretty weak at the same time and you know the goalkeeper made so many mistakes we also got John Taylor his first match as I am like the England manager I can put them players that have been performing well in our team into the squad but I can warn you now guys that, that we were absolutely dominant I don't think I recorded the stats but at the end we actually had 30 shots 27 on target because I, I remember this game quite clearly and I was very angry um, and they had like four shots so it was pretty dominant but FIFA being FIFA gives them an early chance and they score one of the luckiest goals in the world just before half time they get the only break they could ever imagine they, they, was, they could just imagine the fans from Romania how they'd feel they got a goal though you know I wasn't really trying I was having long shots I was mucking around this was just a relaxing game I've after playing them last games and having like dominance, I, like, I just had to relax for a little while, have a bit of a break. But we were unfortunate to concede the goal first off. And then I was determined to score after this. I knew I was going to score. And I just had shot after shot after shot after shot. But Romania do get a chance. They pick up the ball from midfield and they just get this. Just watch. It's like, what the hell is my defence doing? It's running everywhere. They're switching players when I don't want them to. And then look, what's going on here? Can't pick the right player. And then Forster can just easily get that ball, but he doesn't. So in the 83rd minute, Romania go 2-0 up. And you know, this is just what FIFA does there, saying it. I'm England with some of the world's best players. They're Romania, and I couldn't name one of their players. But they're in the lead, and that's just it. And we're at Wembley as well, so that was a bit gutting as well. Um, gutting, but you know... It's only a match, it's only a friendly. If it was an actual qualifier, I'd have been pretty pissed off. But they are, in fact, in our group. So, next time out, I'm putting the strongest team out um, possible, because I know what can happen. And there we have Magnus Okawongo, just to prove to you guys that he is, un um, people are saying he's unsettled. We're going to the next match against Belgium, as I was really pissed off at this stage. So, I just simulated, and you know, they didn't have Lukaku on the team. They didn't have Fellaini playing as well. If you look at that bench, he's actually quite strong. Vermaelen, Vertonghen, he's got, he's got um, company. I think they put out... A weak team as well uh, we put out the strongest team we could apart from obviously um we haven't got uh what's his name uh, ashley cole in um left back but i could put him there and we win 2-0 in the end you know it was pretty decent gerard scoring and so does darren bent but you know i prefer danny welbeck compared to uh darren bent because darren bent i find is quite a slow sluggish player also wilshire and ferdinand get booked and we also had Ferdinand and Terry in defence, which was quite controversial. Controversial. But then we go into our next match against Bournemouth, and I've got a really itchy nose. We go into our next match against Bournemouth, and we like play Massey instead of um, Sterling. It's our first league game of the episode. And, you know, we've got a really strong team. Obviously, Eastman's still injured, but the team looks really, really strong. I can't fault the team in any way, shape, or form. It looks like a really solid team at the moment we do, and we, we seem to be playing football the way I'd like us to be playing football. And we're coming up against a team that are fourth in the league, so they were going to be a challenge. But Massey having a shot, and Anthony Wordsworth scoring a lovely header. In the last league game we played, Wordsworth scored that absolute cracker, which has got to be one of the hot contenders for goal of the season. But he does pick up a header there. I think he does come off their defender if you watch it again. Yeah, I think the defender may have got a little bit of a touch on to help it. Otherwise, Wordsworth would have mucked it up. But that's a foot goal in the fifth minute. And then, Brian Wilson. This this never happens. I've never had this happen before. A ball comes in, and I actually score from the header. And it's Wordsworth again. He's amazing in the air. But I've never have it happen, had it happen. I've crossed the ball in, and it's I've headed it down, and then someone's put it in. But never before has the ball come in, and I've headed it straight from a corner. Like, it's touched the ground. But, I mean, like, normally I would head it down to Sturt Massey there. And Massey would have got the... Um, had a shot and maybe scored but no it was a lovely goal it comes off the post doesn't touch the floor until it obviously is in the back of the net and we're 2-0 up 
But Bournemouth um, are fourth place in the league. They weren't going to give up. Some some little dribbling, and they do sweat. And Cousins, though, could have saved that. But he parries it into the back of the net. And I was a bit disappointed that he didn't put in better, a bit more of a better um, goalkeeping performance there. He, he had been pretty dominant in goal. Nothing could get past him. They were, they were shooting. They are fourth place in the league. And they're always going to be a difficult side to go up against. But, you know, we do also make some su subs. We're on Sterling and O'Toole for Ballon and Massey. We really, there's some solid st um, substitutes there. But Raheem Sterling gets through. He makes a dodgy shot. And then he chips the ball over the goalkeeper. He is turning into one of the most hotly contested players I've ever used in this game. He is so, so good. You know, I, I really do like him. I started out being oh, a bit iffy. Is he going to... He's not really doing what I want him to do, but he's in League One, and, you know, he is like a superstar. The whole team at the moment is performing so well, and, you know, it's going to be really hard to be bring when I bring in the players in the next episode um, of who, I'm go who I really want to bring into the squad. Because the next episode is episode 10, and in episode 10, we have 10 games, which will lead us all the way to January. And that's the thing we put out. We put out Sterling. Obviously, he did come on for a sub and score a goal, so he does deserve the match in this one. And they come up against Preston North End, and they, um, they are 7th in the league. So 4th and 7th, not really the easiest games in the world. They're going to be difficult, but I believe um, Preston have got a former Colts player in Chris Ibalumo up front. And I was determined not to let him score. He was, one, he was the only player I wouldn't let score. But John Taylor in the 14th minute comes in the puts it into the box, and Raheem Sterling scoring a lovely goal there. Really nice, he's twisted his body 180 degrees and heads it in the back of the net. And you know, that was really the only goal of the match. Uh, that was it, It was that is it, as you see now, we're going to get the, the full time, no other goals. I would have expected more goals in the game like that, but there was none. But guys, obviously as I said, episode 10 will be coming out on Sunday, it has 10 games in it. It'll be about half an hour to 25 minutes long. But I'd like to say thank you guys for watching, my name is OTG. And I will see you guys in whatever.